high. In some instances, NetApp support might request collection of all the log files from a controller running cluster mode. This video will take you through the procedure of manually collecting all the logs from a cluster mode node. This video is based on KB article number 1012523. To collect all the logs from a cluster mode node, access the system shell of the node using the Diag user. First, check whether the user Diag is unlocked using the command security login show hyphen username Diag. You can see that the account is locked. Unlock the Diag user using the command security login unlock hyphen username Diag. Set password for the Diag user using the command security login password hyphen username Diag. The Diag user is ready to access the system shell. Type the command set Diag from the cluster shell and select yes. Give the command system shell hyphen node followed by the name of the node from which you want to collect the logs. Login as user Diag and enter your password. Create an mroot slash support directory if one does not already exist. Give the command mkdir slash mroot slash support to create the directory. In my case, the directory already exists. Create the .tgz file containing all the files in the mroot etc log mlog directory. We will use the case number as the first part of the file name. For example, if the case number is 12345678 the file name will be 12345678 underscore logs dot tgz. Let's go ahead and create the tgz file using the command tar cvfz slash mroot slash support slash file name underscore logs dot tgz space slash mroot slash etc slash log slash mlog slash using the ls hyphen l command we can see the tgz file created ls hyphen l slash mroot slash support Secure copy the created file off of the node to transfer it to NetApp. For secure copy, use the command scp slash mroot slash support slash file name space target host username. In my case, it's root at target IP address colon target location. Give the target host password for root. Now we can see that the file is transferred 100%. Log in to the target host and now you can see that the file is transferred successfully under the TMP folder. Now the file is ready to be uploaded to NetApp. There are multiple ways to upload a file to NetApp and these methods are discussed in KB article number 1010090. In this example, we will use FTP to upload these logs. For ease of doing this, I will transfer the file to my Windows host using WinSCP. Go to the Linux machine root under TMP, you will see the logs. I will copy these logs to my local machine. Now that the files are copied to my local machine, I will open command prompt to upload the files to NetApp using FTP. If the file you created does not include the case number, rename the file to include the case number. 
Please note that the file must begin with the numeric case number only. Give the command ftp ftp.netapp.com Give the username as anonymous and the password as a valid email ID. To change the directory, give the command cd to hyphen ntap. Give the command binary to transfer files in binary mode. Give the command hash to display hash marks while the file downloads. Give the command put followed by the tgz file name. We have successfully uploaded all the cluster mode node logs to the NetApp FTP site. Thank you for watching this video. Please provide feedback for this video by leaving a comment. Do also provide suggestions for other videos you would like to see on this channel.